Roger 36, I confirm that you've identified the ID with the... Uh... The ability to communicate and collaborate seems like an easy concept. After all, we do it every day on our cell phones. But on a complex battlefield, it's a different ball game and a huge challenge. To provide a network to the soldier that allows him or her to communicate and share data through all echelons of a brigade, the Army has to consider how it will deliver that capability, not only securely, but also allowing for seamless connectivity while on the move in difficult environments. We're evaluating and testing all of the equipment in a, in a really hard environment against a tough enemy. Today, the Army is developing and beginning to field a tactical network that will give soldiers secure and mobile connectivity. Think of it like a cell phone capability. You can use it any place and any time. The network will not only draw from handheld devices, but also combine satellite technologies and software programmable radio, which functions kind of like wireless internet with an ability to move information across the battlefield. We want to provide the right capabilities in the soldiers' hands without overwhelming them and having them focused on that so they can actually fight and win. Soldiers will now have the ability to have a full digital battlefield operating picture, but also have chat, voice, image, and data sharing almost anywhere. And it's all taking shape right here at Fort Bliss, Texas in White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. We have roughly 4,100 soldiers right now in the brigade. We're going to be using White Sands Missile Range as the test center along with Fort Bliss uh, for this summer's test. The range will host the Army's largest combined test and evaluation effort to date during the summer of 2011. The six-week event, which will begin in early June, is the first of four evaluation activities taking place on the range through 2012. The, the most important part about this evaluation is the operational feedback from the soldiers. They are who are we getting the information from, whether the system works, whether it doesn't work. In the mountains of Afghanistan, or places like here at White Sands, line of sight issues can limit the ability to communicate with something like this, a cell phone, or even a radio. That's why the Army is serious about making sure soldiers have the best networking capability available. And that would not be possible without soldiers like these out here to test the network prior to getting it fielded to soldiers in harm's way.